I reserve. Gentleman from Indiana. Madam Speaker, I yield as much time as he may consume to the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Um, look, we've seen the worst 10 months of any administration in history. We went from a secure border to chaos. We went from safe streets to violent crime. We've seen stable prices turn into inflation and empty shelves. We've, the respect around the world we had has now turned into the debacle that was the exit from Afghanistan. And we went from peace in the Middle East with the Abraham Accords to thousands of rockets being fired on our friend and ally Israel, not to mention energy independence, to now the spectacle of the President of the United States begging OPEC to increase production. But what scares me most? is what this administration and Democrats are doing to freedom. Every, every right we enjoy under the First Amendment has been assaulted over the last year. Your right to practice your faith, still places today in the country where a full congregation can't meet on Sunday morning. Your right to petition your government, your right to assemble freedom of the press, freedom of speech, every single one's been attacked. We just learned, we just learned in the Judiciary Committee from the Attorney General, Attorney General National School Boards Association on uh, last month, September 29th, sends a letter to the President of the United States asking the FBI to get involved in local school board matters. Five days later, the Attorney General issues a memo to do just that. First sentence of the memo says this. This is the Attorney General's memo. In recent months, there's been a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, threats at school board meetings. We ask him a simple question. What's the evidence for that spike in threats? What's the data? What did you review? Guess what his answer was? His only evidence, the only thing he reviewed, was the letter from the school board association, from a political organization. And now they're going to target parents at school board meetings. And we have the January 6th committee issuing subpoena after subpoena. 11 of the people they've issued subpoenas to were names on an application asking the government for permission to hold the rally. Independent individuals exercising their First Amendment right to assemble asked the government for permission. The government granted them permission. And now these 20 and 30 year olds whose name are on that application, they're going to be deposed by these guys for simply exercising their first. Here's what they're asking them. Here's what they ask them. We want to know who the selection of speakers, who, who the speakers were and how were they selected. We want to know any communications these people who put their names on a permit got permission from the government. We want to know any member of Congress you talked to. Wow. Your right to petition your government? That's what they want to subpoena. That's why they're subpoenaing these people? This is scary where they want to go. I mean, th th these questions, coordination of speakers, discussions of contents. This sounds like what the IRS did to people 10 years ago when they were asking 501c groups applying for tax exempt status, do you pray at the start of your meeting? I mean, first it's school boards, then it's people applying for a permit. We saw what they did to people, what the IRS did to people just a few years ago. Not to mention, not to mention what else the committee's doing. Preservation letters to all the carriers, all the companies. Preserve every call, every email, every text. Think about that. Every call someone made to, well, hundreds and hundreds supposedly, according to news reports, they've done this for. Text to your spouse, calls to your mom, preserve it all. And this is just what we know about. This is just what's been reported. I mean, now Steve Bannon. And now Steve Bannon. Mr. Bannon is a target of the investigation for the investigation because, quote, this is from the Select Committee's own report, quote, his efforts to plan political activity, that's the standard. You're involved in political activity, they're going to investigate you. We know what this is really about. This is about getting at President Trump. Getting at President Trump. Tried to stop, tried to stop President Trump before he was even elected with the Russia investigation. Tried to remove President Trump from office Twice, while he was in office, they tried to do that. And now they're trying to get him after the fact, after he's left. All because this guy cut taxes, reduced regulations, greatest economy in the history, the greatest economy in 50 years, lowest unemployment, all because he built the wall, got us out of the Iran deal, put the embassy in Jerusalem. When President Trump was president, Americans got their Christmas presents on time, but they're coming after him. The Reuters story said this. The FBI has found no evidence that President Trump or people directly around him were involved in organizing the violence. They don't care. They don't care the FBI has no evidence. Senate report said no evidence of a coordinated plan. They don't care. They're going to drag these 11 people into subpoenas, in for depositions with subpoenas, because they're so determined to get their political enemies. Gentlemen's time's enemies. expired. Gentlemen from Mississippi. You'll back then.